We're in this love together. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Are You Feeling the Goods? Today, it's my esteemed pleasure to invite this illustrious guest onto this show today. Everybody, the one and only, the amazing Mr. Eric Benny Bloom. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us, Benny. It's, uh, you know, I haven't seen your face in a while, and it looks almost the same. Huh? But if you don't know Benny, he's the uh, the esteemed trumpeter slash ham of lettuce. Um, hey. <laughs> so, Bloom, I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to answer ya, yeah, meaning yes, na, meaning no, and then we'll, we'll, we'll discuss. All right. so here we go. Are you feeling the goods with Eric Benny Bloom? So today when we're filming this, it is Wednesday, the day after the election. Eric Benny Bloom, are you surprised? Yeah or nah? Nah. Nah. Tell us what. Oh, okay. mm. Well, what's the day after? Everything hasn't been counted yet. So that's one thing. Um, however, I was, you know, I was expecting us to win, us, geez, I was expecting the, the Democratic nominee, you know, to, to become president, but then last night when I was watching it all with Gabe Mervine, a great chopper player friend of mine, it, uh, you know, it looked like we were going to, the Democrats are going to lose. And I wake up this morning and there's a couple states that might actually, we might win. So, um, speaking for all Democrats, but, um, so yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm definitely not surprised because politics sucks. America, you know, they make, it's... I vote because that's what's that's my civic duty, but I, I'm in a state that's always blue. You know, I should we should all move to red states, swing states. I know. Moving on. So in my research for this interview, Bloom, um, I learned two very important things about the internet. One is that people ask ridiculous things to the internet. And then two, the first question that comes up when you type in do trumpeters dot 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 or do trumpet players dot dot dot. Mm -hmm. The first one is do trumpet players make better kissers? And the second one is, do trumpet players have big egos? What? So for all the people out there, I thought I'd just like get it from the <laughs> horse's mouth. Do trumpet players make better kissers? Do trumpet players have big egos? Yeah or nah? Uh, definitely yeah. Yeah, yeah. On both? Yeah, yeah. 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 So you, do you have like, evidence of the kissing? I mean, you know, I don't want to be too crass. However, you know, all brass players, um, saxophone is too, I would give them, but, um, yeah, I mean, we use our lips in a different way musically for our job or hobby. And, um, we're more, in, we, you could be more in tune with that. Let's just say that, you know, Again, you, pushing against a metal thing. Yeah. You literally have to make these vibrate, your lips vibrate like reed, like a reed does. So essentially these are reeds. So you're always, I'm very careful of these things. I don't like people biting on them all too much. Hey, yo. You know, I'm like, yo, I have literally, you get all swollen like, and it affects the way you life, play. Of course. It's the thing. So that's, so I think I, and I enjoy um, being close to uh, someone kissing is a great thing. And I think I'm very good, but I'm a little biased. So. All right, that's a yeah. And then that's a, yeah. a good segue, do they have big egos? And then, you know, just, yeah, we could definitely, some do, some don't, but a lot of them are alpha vibe because you have to play trumpet which is a, is a it can be a very very physical instrument and it, you can play very high on it and it, it sounds a certain way when you sit on the top of a, a section as the high note player like a soprano singer so therefore you have to cut you have to know how to do that and you know you have to know how to be heard and you have to have a confidence knowing you're not going to crack those notes that you're going to actually come in. You're going to do it. You're going to kill it. And that's what you hear. That's one of the reasons why you're here. So you do need an element of the ego or the alpha or the confidence rather. So you can do your job properly. It's just turning that off in personal situations or other musical yeah. situations. Okay, moving on. You are the co-owner of the natural wine distribution company, Benny and Zoic Selections uh -huh. Club, um, out of Colorado. Uh, with the magnificent Ryan Zoidis. Um, so now, for the last few years, natural wines, or natty wines as they like to call it, um, mm -hmm. have been gaining in popularity. And for me, there's one question I can't seem to answer, so I'm just going to ask you straight. Does drinking natural wine cause fewer hangovers? Yeah or not? Nah? 
you know, it's a yeah. But just make sure you have a little water, have a couple pieces of bread, and you can drink a bottle of natural wine, and you will not, you'll barely feel like you drank the day before. I yeah, did some real yeah. shit. Yeah. So yeah. 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 You were hangovers. Drink that wine, and I know myself yeah. right now, I need all the wine right now to deal yeah. with this country. So, okay, moving on. Um, inquiring minds want to know, slash I really want to know, I can't believe I don't know this. Is the Benny and Eric Benny Bloom a mi your middle name, ya yeah or nah? Ya. Yeah. Nah. What oh, is it, Alice? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. So middle, the middle name, dude. I didn't know if there was a story. Did you know that there is a Benny Elias who was a famous uh, rugby player in the 80s and 90s and they called him Backdoor Benny? That's kind of, that's, that's, that's kind of crazy. A lot of nicknames go with Betty. It's fun. It's a fun one to nickname. Have you ever had backdoor Benny? I mean, I, I just no. Yo. You nailed the ya or not portion of the interview. Moving wow. on, we're gonna we're gonna play just a little game here. Benny is a Rhode Island native. Everybody. I said ya. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, and for a state as small as Rhode Island, they certainly have their own flair for, um, let's say, unique vocabulary. I have a list of words here that apparently only a real Rhode Island, uh, Rhode Islander, what do you call yourselves? Rhode Islander. Rhode Islanders would know. So we're going to go rapid fire here. We're going to say the word. You tell me what it is. All right? Here we go. Is Benny Bloom a real Rhode Islander? Here we go. <laughs> Cabinets. Oh, it's a sandwich. No, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a coffee grinder. It's a milkshake with ice milk cream. Milk That's right. Milk. But coffee cabinet, it's called. Bubblers. Water fountain. Yes. Steamers. Clams. Mussels. Rotaries. Oh, it's the freaking thing you drive around when you, it's like, you know, there's no light. You just got to go around. It's a big thing in England. R roundabouts. Roundabouts, Jesus. Yes. Coffee milk. Coffee milk. It's just milk with added. It's like a chocolate milk with like the powder or syrup. The, uh, the, the syrup, the flavored syrup. So coffee milk. Yeah, it's the whole thing. It's really good. Uh, scrod. Oh, scrod, dude. Scrod's a wicked nice fish, dude. White fish. So flaky, kid, with butter and breadcrumbs. Come on. Uh, down cellar. Oh, downstairs. It's the basement. That was solid, kid. Right, last but not least, this one seems kind of deep cut. I don't even know. A wimpy skippy. Oh, isn't that a freaking hot dog? Close. It's a wiener. It's Close. A hot... No. Uh, is it a burger? I forget. Go ahead. It's a... No, no. It's a sandwich. Close. It's an Italian sandwich. Basically. Okay. A spinach calzone with mozzarella, pepperoni, and olives. I'm wrong. Wimpy skimmy. It's like this crazy thing, and it's it's sealed, and it's stuffed, and it's it's actually not that good. Well, there you have it. I don't know what we tallied, but we're going to tally it up. And uh, I want to. I you're a real Rhode Islander. I mean, it's been a few years, right? I'm a wicked Rhode Islander. You're kid. a wicked Rhode Islander. Benny and the Late Bloomers coming out with an EP very yeah. soon that you yeah. all definitely have to check out. Um, finally, and most importantly, on Are You Feeling the Goods, we ask every guest, which of your goods, Eric Benny Bloom, are you feeling the most right now? It's hard to pick. Uh, to toot my own horn, I'm really and trying to get my self-care together. Not like I'm bad. I cook a lot. I'm starting to swim. I do a little stretching in the house. I'm really feeling my physical slash emotional slash spiritual. Try to chant a little bit. But I'm also just watching chess. I'm starting to get into chess again. I'm studying chess openings. So I'm just, it's not music. Yeah, and it's not just, I'm just trying to do some other stuff going. So that's feeling funny. I love that. I like to see it. I feel, I feel your goods. And I also on a personal note, just want to say I love you, and you. I can always count on you to tell me the real shit. That's very true. That's very true. So, well, you, you know, you're a good you human. And I appreciate you, everybody. Thank you so much, Eric Benny Bloom. You're one of a kind, and we love you. Mwah. Bye, y'all. <laughs>